It's hard to believe it, but it was around 30 years ago now that Rampage first hit arcades and for its time it was one of the most innovative, funnest and enjoyable games to play. Three friends would crowd around a cabinet, mash buttons and throw coins into the machine to simply level buildings and rack up high scores. It was the same sense of fun that Midway tried to capture when they made the first Rampage N64 game which I reviewed some time ago. Fast forward to 1999 and Midway were up to their usual money spinning tricks and decided that pretty much giving the same game a fresh lick of paint with a couple of added extras would be enough to justify charging gamers a full retail price for a new addition to the series. So what's new this time around I hear you cry? Well first off the game has four new playable characters which as usual draw on mythology and creativity but this time around the lack of the same nostalgic charm for the original characters had but I don't worry they're in the game as unlockable heroes. Aside from that very little has actually changed. Sure there are 125 different levels to play and a new storyline which sees you take your rampage across the globe, but the same basic fundamentals of gameplay have largely remained untouched. You control a giant monster, smash entire cities to pieces whilst dodging armies and eating humans and also a few other objects you'll find scattered throughout the levels. Once this is complete, you move on to the next area and begin the same process all over again. If the game were to be released today, it would be entirely as a downloadable content pack on the original game, but the problem was that this was not even sold as a budget title. Within minutes of playing the game you'll realise that Midway really didn't do that much work on the game, and even as a rental this would be hard to justify a full weekend playing the game. Of course though, Rampage has always been about the multiplayer, and so it was with great surprise that for this sequel, Midway didn't even add 4 player support. Just like the first N64 outing for Rampage, the game only allows 3 playable characters on screen at the same time. For a console which is designed to be played with friends, I can't see why Midway did not expand on the original and add support for just one more player. It's not as if the hardware was being pushed to its limits here and the frame rate is hardly screaming along, so it was a real letdown from Midway. Now no matter how many times I've played this game, I just can't help but feel how bland the entire game looks in terms of its graphics and overall presentation. Sure the new characters have all been fully rendered, but the limited frames of animation makes them look like they're moving clunkily and plodding through the motions rather than being the all destructive powerhouses they really ought to portray. The backgrounds, whilst this time takers across the world, often turn into a mix of generic buildings and monuments, which means that although the game promises distinct environments, in reality it does not deliver at all. One new addition of this game were the weather conditions. Some levels are nighttime and others feature various forms of storms and so on. In reality, this is nothing more than a slight visual bump put into the game to break up the bland monotony of the game's core mechanics. The weather does little to change how you approach the levels, and in your destruction, and the cool animated intro from the PlayStation version is also nowhere to be found. Overall there are just so many things missing from this game. And finally, wrapping itself around the game's rotten core is the poor quality music and effects. The generic and uninspired rot tracks do nothing to add to the overall experience, and this time around it seems the sound effects have been dumbed down for a younger audience so expect to hear lots of childish sounding squeaks and over the top screams. Everything is muffled, low bitrate and has many mono samples which are overused throughout the game. If the previous year's Rampage World Tour was an up to date remake of the arcade original, then Rampage Universal Tour is more of an expansion pack of that game. It adds a couple of new features but most of these should have been done in the first N64 game not this quickly put together sequel, which I don't think was even worth a rental back in the day, even if you and some friends split the cost of it. But why do you think Midway didn't do more with this game? Do you think after World Tour surprisingly good sales, they were just after a quick money making sequel, or do you think that with the basic engine they were working with, there really wasn't a whole lot more they could have done to improve on what was already a popular game for its time? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and until next time.